Theater International who licenses Pippin. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Hi, I am Patina Miller and I play the leading player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, female now. <laughs> Exciting things happening in Pippin right now. Do you have any advice that you would give, say, a young actor taking on the role of Pippin? Some things you found out while doing the part. Sure, I mean, let go to it. I think you've got to trust the people you're surrounded by and know that they are your company and your show. And like I have to, I mean, it's not a difficult thing to do when you're surrounded by Andrea Martin and, <laughs> and Charlotte Dumbois or like, I know, like everybody. Um, but, you know, I think this production is a lot about truth. And I think the performing is about truth and really being able to provide that A for yourself and the audience. And um, I think with this show specifically, you, you have a great opportunity to find out stuff about yourself and about the people surrounding you. So enjoy it. Well, I guess I would ask them to um, look in their heart and find what's the most joyful place in them. Because that character is full of joy. And that's what I would uh, tell them to do. I think we all know that Pippin has a brilliant score. We love the songs, but it's the story of Pippin that really got me, and it's what I wanted to bring out. A story that has very profound meaning, that is full of edge and danger and risk, and makes you think about life. And I just encourage everybody who takes Pippin on to really dig deep, because the material will give back to you. It has that depth inside of it and it celebrates the theater, which is what I love about this show. It's truly musical theater. It's truly musical theater, the 1972 version, and this one is musical theater. So if you got the script and you looked at this, you have things that you could look at have been conceived before. Um, it's always been troops. Um, we've come to a circus troupe. Uh, I would try that out because the possibilities are endless. Um, and look at dance as being an integral part of telling story. Which I think when you see this production or you see any other production of, uh, in the past of, of Pippin, you'll see that, especially Mr. Fossey's work in it. I would say go with the fun of it and the joy of it and not with the negative dark side of it do you know what I mean find the 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 humor and and the sexiness and the joy and what makes you feel powerful in a joyful way because that's how she approaches everything she's found sunshine she's found joy and yet she's this night you know she's a devil but she does it in a way that nobody knows well I mean she's extremely um, ambitious and 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 for an actor really fun to play because it's somebody that just gets to be powerful and and yet joyful and conniving and wants to get what she wants out of life and will get it no matter what and so it's in, for an actor it's quite fun to play say like someone came up to you and said hey I'm gonna play Charlemagne so what have you learned from playing this part or advice you might impart to a young performer? You're a crazy megalomaniac who only has one soft spot in his heart and that's for the love of his son. As far as playing Catherine, I think the most beautiful thing about her is uh, if you can bring yourself to it, she brings herself to the audience and she actually takes over the narration of the story. Um, for a huge portion of the play. Um, and so, if you're comfortable with yourself and bringing yourself to it, then the audience gives you something in return. And it is, it's a beautiful dance, magical dance. Morning glow is here. You ain't seen nothing yet, folks. Here.